here I'll show you how to plot the cyclic curve uh, of a beam column joint or any structure or any model that you have so over here you can see we have the model the beam column joint now one thing I would like to mention that you can get the reaction force only at the reference point of the model so here uh, the beam at the beam we have a one reference point uh, which is not clearly visible uh, if you check properly here we have the reference point and you'll get the reaction force or uh, at that reference point only because Avacus gives reaction point force at that reference point so we'll be extracting the uh, displacement and re reaction force at that reference point so here uh, if I just switch on the boundary condition option So here you can see this is the reference point where the displacement is applied. So we'll be extracting the re reaction force at the, this reference point only. And we have the top reference point and we have the bottom reference point, but we'll be uh, extracting the reference point uh, reaction force at this reference point for the cyclic curve. We'll extract the reaction force and displacement, then we'll combine together to get the cyclic curve. Uh, now I will go to XY data go ODB field output select unique nodal then select RF2 because I need vertical direction uh, reaction force then select U2 once you select both of this uh, so you can directly click that point reference point or you can select it from node sets uh, node set, these node sets you have created while modeling these are the node sets so you can see this is the reference point uh, this 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 gets generated automatically but uh, you have also created the sets so you can check the different sets that you have created uh, if you click the highlight items in viewport it will show you what are different sets uh, of that particular reference point so if we could find out that uh, our uh, required set is set 8 so we'll plot the uh, both load versus load and displacement at that reference point so once it is completed uh, depending upon the size of the ODV file uh, we have got the plot now we'll combine these two so you can combine it taking it taking the data in excel so these are the two names that we can uh, identify from here the first one is 421 the second one is u2 421 so these two i need and you can simply right click on this thing one by one and you can get the uh, y y data is my reaction force so you can x is time so i don't need x so you can copy y in excel and say similarly u2 in excel and you can simply plot it so put there uh, next if you want to plot it here the cyclic curve go to continue uh, select combine then uh, uh, simply click double click on u2 uh, there are so many graph but mine is this one and then just plot this I got the cyclic curve. so this is how you plot the cyclic curve and uh, next i'm showing you the this, this is stamp one the name is temp1 on the left hand side if you just check it so temp1 you can right click on temp1 and take the data to excel so x is my displacement y is my reaction force this is how we plot the cyclic curve